Hello all and welcome to Problem. I'm your host, Roland, sitting here in my chair, digitally speaking with Proud. Proud, how are you? I am I'm proud. I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad. We're not we're not like introducing you at the start of a semester or something like that. Like, okay, what's what's your name? I'm like proud and I like to play Lone Druid. I saw your lon- I saw your yeah. Lonely Druid game today, by the way, where you're playing with like Voiceless yep. Fade and uh, uh, yep. who? If- yeah, Jekyll Random Demipo. Yeah, so, Jekyll uh, got a Meepo. Yeah. Did yep. you guys lose? Yeah. Holy fuck! When I was watching, I was like, "This dude is you," because you were bloodlusted by the ogre, which was insane. <laughs> yeah, uh, I twitched backwards. it up. I had uh, I was like twenty kills and one death. Uh, I really, I really fucking, I really did it. But uh, then eventually, hey, turns out Spectre, Monkey King, Spirit Breaker, Bristleback, and Invoker have a little too much health for me to get down before they can actually just get to me and kill me. I could kill that three of them in the time it would take them all to run at me, but that was about it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Your bear, your bear was teensy in comparison to you. With bloodlust, yeah. with blood rage, with your goddamn rage what is that i don't know your your bear thing where it shows the claw rabid uh and when you took down roche i couldn't believe it when you went into roche pit and you were just like and roche just fucking dies i've never seen anything like it the the damage is great man i like kill the spirit breaker like spirit breaker was like charging past me and i just killed him with auto attacks as he was like it charging and he had there was like three fucking little glaives following him they're all red because of the deso and by the time they lay and he just fucking drops like in fog i'm like you're fucking dead i great. don't even know how you, i guess yeah they just have to get to you and if they get to you I, i'm guessing you die is that is that the whole yeah like break your charge and then uh like bristle chasing me down with like quills and shit you know eventually i die but i also like fear them back and stuff i just do so much fucking damage and i'm at like 550 move speed base at, like basically so it's it's a good time <sighs> I was just so I it was actually on stream because I was waiting for a game and I pulled up uh, yeah. I, I watched your game and was like, oh, my God, like, I'm surprised they haven't won this. I was like, this is what a 5K Lone Druid looks like right here. You don't, uh, dude, you don't even use the bear. Druid buys Radiance and wonders why his bear keeps dying. <laughs> this is a proud little Druid. So now most most people don't do the Lone Druid thing still. I did see it happened in a game of mine today after I watched yours, but what he did was he bought the radiance, put it on the bear, and just had the bear pushing down a wave. Sorry about that noise. Uh, I'll maybe edit that out. Uh, I didn't hear shit. Yeah, but they the people did. Um, there's a Java update. It's bullshit. Uh, I, so what he did is he bought the radiance and he got it at a really good time. Like he didn't even buy boots. It was. It was like something that you would have definitely shit Sounds on. Sounds like a shit build. Yeah, you would have say radiance. you would have shit on it. But he got radiance by like I want to say like 14 or 15 minutes, like a, a pretty good time considering yeah, great, he didn't have boots. But he didn't have yeah, boots or anything. Idea. Yeah, it's a stupid idea. But we we won this game off the back of him definitely. Like we won this game. So he gets the radiance on the bear and then he just starts sending the bear on like follow command on creeps. So yeah, it's the, just that bear split push. Yeah, yep. so the radiance is just and then whenever people start attacking the bear, he like jukes and jives with the bear until he can yeah fears bring, them away and fears them away yeah. and then brings the bear back. Blinks so, it back, sure. So it was it was cool in that regard. Um, and then after the radiance, he didn't put other than boots. He didn't put another thing on the bear. He just went Deso, and then he went Maelstrom, then he went Mjolnir, then he went uh, Phase, and then he eventually got Boots of Travel That's so and stupid, AC. Though. Why the fuck would you do that? I guess in his mind, he like the radiance was his way of getting the farm that he needed. Did he just not know that radiance has sixty damage on it? Is this that? Just, is that just not something he was aware of? Yeah, you think maybe eventually you just pass the radiance on over to yourself, but he was he. I don't know. I think you would just get a fucking clue and pick a unit. Yeah, I I don't know, dude. But it was cool because we always had one lane that was being pushed by Scylla, the actual dude. And then the bear was always pushing one lane. And then, like, kind of the rest of us were making sure the other lane was pushed. And then he would here's just... How, here's how you can do that without travel. doing that. Keep okay. all your items on the fucking bear. And you have a Vlad's and an Iron Talon on your hero. You're going to start with an Iron... You're going to have an Iron Talon really early on on your bear. Once it gets Radiance and it's, like, pushing lanes and shit, it doesn't need the Iron Talon anymore. Put the Talon on your unit. Your unit has a 1.5 base attack time in bear form. 
and then you also have an iron talent that's hitting for like 130 fucking damage then you have a vlad's and it's helping push the lane like you don't need that shit you're like it's true it's true i hate that guy he won me the game that's (laughs) sorry i just that's great i just swallowed water down my trachea okay (laughs) you know when they say when you swallow water down the wrong tube it actually is going down the wrong tube and you cough, right, when you swallow down the wrong tube? Uh-huh. And that's because if your body didn't cough, the water would aspirate and you'd get pneumonia. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I don't really think <coughs> pneumonia is real. <coughs> so my coughing right now is preventing pneumonia. Just so, uh, just to fill, fill you guys in. I, I didn't okay. get pneumonia just now because of my coughing that was on air. Okay. So excuse the coughing, but it's better than me getting pneumonia, in my yeah, opinion. I'm- I'm pretty sure our, like, the amount of listeners we have, like, in a utilitarian <laughs> sense, the amount of displeasure that was given by your coughing probably doesn't out probably doesn't outweigh, you know, how much, like, harm it would do to you to get pneumonia. So I think it was probably a good play to cough and not get pneumonia there. I think so, too. In a too. utilitarian sense. Also, uh, I, I got this email, by the way, um, just because I coughed. Uh, and it said, it's from Austin says, Dear Dope Dudes, your podcast is great. Please stop chewing with your mouth open. Yours truly, your podcast is great. Please stop chewing with your mouth open. (laughs) I wonder who that was that was chewing with their mouth open. I have a fucking email of people complaining about you, and all I do is cough so as to not have water aspirate in my trachea, thus giving me pneumonia. Okay, what if I died of starvation, all right? I feel like that you could make it another hour. You know it's what I mean? It's not that I chew with my mouth open. It's that I was talking with food in the side of <laughs> yeah, my mouth. You were, yeah. There was no chewing going on. You could just hear that there were there was some pockets of food somewhere stored yeah, away. Yeah, there, there was a little bit of pizza going on. Uh, you know, people like pizza, a little bit of talking, a little bit of pizza on your podcast is a good time. Oh, it's been taquitos for me. It's been Costco taquitos. It's it's been bad. I've been going and buying like three boxes of those a week with my with my big pack of Red Bull. Just you throw them in. Okay. I've, I use the oven. It's crazy. I preheat it to 400. It beeps. Fucking throw some taquitos in there. Press 15 minutes. It beeps again. I turn the oven off. We have this neat glove that doesn't burn my hand. Oh, yeah, the neat gloves. <laughs> Our fucking, it's like plus 100 to fire resistance, dude. This, yeah, this glove that I have. like hands. Not like an <laughs> MMO piece of gear where no, like, you get it no. and then like, your fucking eyes are flame proof. It's only for one uh, one hand, yeah. Only one yeah. hand. I guess you could it's maybe like fit both hands. kind of like stat bonuses. Yeah, it's, it's, it's plus 100 heat resistance to hand. Um, yeah, to one it's hand. very specialized equipment. But yeah, I've been loving the taquitos. Uh, but yeah, don't don't chew with your mouth open. Yeah, um, it's definitely heat resistance though, not fire resistance, because that shit will probably just catch fire if it's not a rubber one. Oh yeah, you're right. It's, it's like, heat resistance. It's like yeah, it's, it's it is rubber. But I, I'm rubber probably burns at some temperature. Well, I mean, it, yeah, but like higher than your fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying that like cotton will just catch fire. Like I, I have some of those that are just like it's like soft cloth, and I just fucking. No, this is like a heavy duty glove. We got, it's yeah, it's dude. you fucking it's like leather. It's like a mitt that I put on. Like I could catch a baseball with it, and okay. I could take my taquitos out of. Oh the my oven. god, I can't imagine how fucking poverty to like have a fucking baseball mitt instead of like a. Uh, <laughs> Like an oven mitt, probably because a baseball mitt is like way more expensive. So a very specific set of things would have had to happen. You'd be like, no, let me use this baseball mitt. Like, Why the fuck would you have a baseball mitt, but no oven glove? Like, I think you would just I feel like, like instead use like a bunch of paper towels or something. It's just like the only tool you have at your disposal is like a fucking baseball glove. I feel like crutches would be involved in that story too. Like sadly, like like a, a, a good baseball career what? gone bad. Like he's he crutches oh, to the okay. oven with his baseball mitt to get oh, the to get the taquitos out of you. Yeah, it's a washed up baseball, yeah, player. A washed up baseball yeah. player that's oh, getting his man. Costco taquitos out of the oven with his baseball that's mitt. Like, what money? What money does baseball? <laughs> player has left is being and he does and he has to be spent on taquitos anymore, so he's got to use his uh, yeah he, he's got to use his old baseball to us to use his taquitos. <laughs> this is fucking sad dude oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> oh my god i'm 
crying. Oh, uh, but you yeah, can't use the glove to wipe fiction, tears. We have woven. Oh, that is funny. Okay, so today, uh, Proud and I are going to kind of go back to the roots of Proudland. For any of you who are around, who were around, I, ugh, ugh, I've been like, just, you just fucking shit together. I've dude. just been smushing like sentences into one, like one syllable lately. I don't like the way you're talking right now. I hate it. Okay. We are hearkening back to our first episode, kind of, and the fact that we want to reestablish some framework of what Dota is, what things mean what lanes mean. And so for the next four episodes, we're going to go over um, ba- basics, uh, thing, things that are going to be helpful for me to know. Maybe pr- I know Proud has learned w- at least one thing in preparation for this episode, or a couple of things. Um, and help the newer player, help the experienced player, uh, and hopefully everybody in between. Our first episode, we're going to focus more on attributes, damage types, resistances to damage um and just the weird nuances within dota 2 because this game everything that has to deal with the numbers yeah all these weird formulas that you should never know or memorize basically we're gonna try and give benchmarks i guess or just just little tips to look down and say five means this i don't have to do this complex formula in my mind but this means this and so when when i was going through and and researching all of this um my mind was blown but to go back even further i I, i'll tell the story again i'm i'm in the wife i'm in the wife with my car i did that twice now uh i'm in the i thought that was on purpose it it and i'm in the car with my wife we're driving to chili's um with the baby I don't know, because she wanted she wanted uh, fajitas, and seeing and as we know, hot, yeah, you live. In we Utah, live in a so. dismal, dismal, boring ah, ass place. Jesus. And you know what was the worst part is when I got to Chili's, it was packed. It was like the this oh, was like this God. was like the only place that people knew where to go. And then when I looked oh, at the reviews Jesus. on my phone, because I needed their number to do the call in order, because we didn't eat there. We just did a Chili's to go. Uh, yeah, because I mean, why would you want to <clears throat> be at a Chili's? I don't know. Um, and uh, when when we get when I look up their number, it it literally says I think I probably still have it pulled up, and it it, it just made me sad. Yeah, it does. It says family friendly chain uh, that's gr- has great cocktails, great beer, and usually a long wait. Wow, wow. When I read that, I was like, really. We like I knew I lived in a sad place before, but when Chili's is like your place yeah. to get a great cocktail, a great beer, and has usually a very long wait, then that's pretty sad. Anyway, uh, we're going to Chili's, and I'm like, wife and baby, what the fuck? I have no idea. Like we're get, I'm getting confused. Like I know I want to do something about like catering to beginners because. Um, I guess I'm not a beginner anymore. And my wife's like, you know what's great about Dota 2? And I was like, what? And she's like, that there is no rule book. That I could build whatever item I wanted on Crystal Maiden, and it could work. And I was, at that moment, in love with my wife again. One. Uh, Were you not before? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Completely fallen out of love. But it's, yeah. it's come back if, if 100% full force. Secondly, realize, Jesus, you're cool. Third, realize she would be so much better than me at Dota if she just played. Uh, and fourth, it gave me um, some inspiration because she said also, she's like, when you started this, wasn't this like uh, you guys were bad at the game and you just talked about how bad you were? And I was like, well, you know, as I puff up my chest, we weren't really bad. We just, you know, we were, we've always been pretty good at video it's games. Like uh, no, we were it's really like bad. Super shitty. And so it gave me the idea of like, you know what? If if Audrey were uh, playing Dota and interested in ancillary content to maybe get an idea of how things worked or to prioritize how you buy an Aghanim Scepter or something like that, I wanted to kind of dedicate this episode to my wife, who I am now re-in-love with 
because of what she said. I couldn't believe it came out of her mouth, dude. It was just, and I was like, there's Tortellini guys. And she's like, who follows that bullshit? Don't you just want to play the game? Is what she said. (laughs) I was like, wow. I didn't say Tortellini's guys. I just said there's guides, but she, she doesn't know who Tortellini is or anything like that. Yeah. um, Can I just say, God bless Tortellini for being the only person that's actually going to get the fucking workshop builds working again. Because yeah. if it weren't for hit him and his concerted effort, those things yeah. would just be like fucking oh, I in know. limbo forever. I, yeah, clap for him. soul into it. Did you see that he won some Reddit award too? He, run, he won. No. He won like a, some Reddit award that was anyway. Yeah, Look, I'm not gonna fillet fucking. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Tortellini. I gotta be honest, <laughs> but I do like that he's a champion for the Bills. Yeah, so me too. I put that working again as soon as possible. I will say the one time I was on air with Tortellini, uh, his arrogance I didn't really love. He loves the fact that. Mi- he, I don't want to talk about this. This is like a shit conversation. This I just is a wanted shit to conversation. give a quick shout out. And now we're done. Okay. All right. I was just gonna say millions and millions and millions and millions. Anyway, we I'm, won't. I'm glad you were just gonna say that, buddy. And millions now. and millions, and millions. Okay, so we wanted to start with attributes because this is something that you you kind of know about. You know that you're a strength hero. You know that you're an agi hero. You know that you're an intelligence you hero. You got a rough idea. You you have a rough idea unless you're playing Wind Ranger, which is definitely an ag- agility hero. Unless you're playing Io, which is definitely an all three hero. Unless you're playing fucking ogre ogre who is definitely in uh, what is he an int hero yeah okay yeah but he's just straight... what about dark seer what do you think dark seer is i think dark seer is strength he's in what yeah right i think he's so fucking tanky and he's melee and shit no he's in dude he's purple there's no purple strength hero Oh yeah, that's true. I guess there's Slardar, but he has scales. He's a he's got scales. The, so the scales negate the purple. I can't even see purple, so honestly, I don't know. Oh yeah, no yeah, you, you um, never mind. I'm yeah. I am totally colorblind, and I can't wait for the day where people can kind of have you know a little bit of a little bit of a what? respect for the what? people who can't see all the spectrum. Well, uh, we just need to get you them glasses. Have you? They're goofy looking. Have you seen them? What if I was walking I around with those? I, I would. To, it would totally fit in with my personality type. Anyway, I would like to uh, go over these proud because I didn't really. I did ish. No, I thought that to be honest with you, the int and strength were the same, as yeah, far as increases. Go. So let's strength, go. strength. If it doesn't matter if you're a strength hero or not for these first two. Every point in strength increases your maximum health by 20. Every point in strength increases your health regeneration by 0.03 health per second. So Here's an important fact. Here's an important fact, though. Um, if you only have, like, strength as, your, um, as a thing that's giving you health, uh, the regen that you get from strength, that 0.03, uh, just keeps it, like, just keeps it constant. Like, if you have... Uh, like a thousand strength or five strength, your health is going to regen at the uh, take the exact same time to regen from zero to full. Uh, the amount of yeah. regen that strength gives you doesn't actually mean you're going to regen faster. It just means your health's going to roughly keep pace with the uh, sp- like speed it was yeah. regening before. That's actually really I didn't think of that because you're you're increasing your maximum health pool and you're increasing your regeneration and they're equal is what you're saying. The regen is yeah. equal to the increased maximum health. Yes, yeah, so if I have like a, a thousand health and just arbitrarily, let's say, like, you know, if I have a thousand health, it'll take me like, you know, uh, the same amount of 3, time, a thousand seconds. Yeah, it'll, yeah, if a thousand health, it'll take 3000 seconds to like refill or something like that. I don't know. And if I have like a hundred health, it'll still take me 3000 seconds to refill, whatever. That's cool. I, I didn't really think of those implications um, that I guess that's just a balancing factor. So that so the. The HP per second doesn't matter a whole ton. Obviously, the things that you get to increase your regeneration aren't isn't just raw strength. is more in the item sector of things. Then also, of course, this is something that I'm not going to repeat for everything, but 
If your hero is a strength hero, every point in strength will increase his or her attack damage by one. That same thing with Agi, same thing with Int. Um, Agi hero, one damage. Int hero, one damage if it's intelligence yep. or ability. The only thing that your, that a primary stat does for you is it just means you gain one attack damage when you gain one of those attributes. Yes. That's it. That's all a primary attribute does for you. Yes. So what I wanted to go over was uh, some vis- visualization of... For instance, building an ag- Aghanim Scepter. Um, it's becoming more and more common now than ever to build an Aghanim Scepter. Maybe not because Monkey King's in like okay. 40% of the games. But I always used to start with just indiscriminately buying, you know, my pieces and having them shipped out. Um, yep. I, I mean, I didn't even... I always saved the point booster for last, but... Here's what you got to realize about Point Booster is it's providing 250 health and 150 mana. Just 200 health. Or two, oh, two, just 200 health and 150 mana, right? Or is it 200, 100? I think so. Yeah, Point Booster, yeah. A, a Vitality Booster is, oh no, it's 175, 175. What the fuck? Oh, Did wow. this ever change? Okay, 175, 175. It, it may okay, have changed. Yeah, uh, six, 6.87, yeah, it changed. <laughs> okay. It changed from 200, 150 to 175, 175. Okay, yes. all right, good that I know that now. Jesus. So here's something to visualize. If, if you want more health, an Ogre Club is going to provide you with 200 health, uh, whereas a Point Booster is going to provide you with 175 health. Um, the difference is, is the Ogre Club is not going to give you the regen to catch up because it is just raw health. It is not strength yeah. that you're getting. But it, I mean, it's only 0.3 regen though. Like It is really... only, it's 0.3 per, so it's 10 times 0.3. No, it's, isn't it? Oh, it's isn't 0.3 because it... it's 0.03. You're right. Thanks. The, yeah. yeah. I, I Multiplication was like, by 10. 0.3 per strength? Like yeah. Centaur is going to have a fuck ton of regen every time he levels. He just yeah. gains one health regen every yeah. time he fucking levels Level. up. Jesus oh Christ. man, uh, his level twenty five is something crazy. Like, oh no, his level twenty five is the plus one hoof stomp or the like twenty is fifteen strength or something. Uh, yeah, it's something like that. Anyway, yeah, this is this is interesting because I I was watching an eighty two L match of my own way way back when, and I was getting flamed because I bought because I used to just indiscriminately buy pieces of the Aghanim scepter, and I bought a staff of wizardry on. A hero that didn't need intelligence um, first. And I was just like, whatever, buy it, ship it out, send it to me. I need this yeah. piece. And they're like, why? And the, that's the last thing you get. Um, and for the most part, I would say that Staff of Wizardry would be the last piece of an Aghanim Scepter that you get. But let's, let's continue here. Um, agility. Every point of agility increases a hero's armor by one-seventh. So you've got well, a, it increases it by one seventh of a point. It's not uh, one like, seventh of a point of an armor for, for yes. clarity's sake. Yes. Seven Thank agility you. equals one armor for your hero. Yes. So when you buy um, a blade of alacrity, you are you are getting a decimal percentage for that three. So you're going to get somewhere around like one point uh, four five. Yeah. You're going to get about like 1.45 armor, but it's only going to show that you got one armor because it doesn't show the decimals, but Dota does calculate. If you mouse, if you mouse over it, it'll show you like the exact percentage because each point of armor is like, well, we can get into that later. Yeah. But anyway, it'll confusing. show like if if you add a branch, like just one agility, you will see uh, an increase. Like if you mouse over your, your character stats. Yeah, you will see like a you know point whatever. Uh, like point one two or something increase in your uh, in your armor. Although it won't say that your armor has gone up because why would they confuse you with you being like, oh god, I only have nine point five six armor. If only I had nine point seven eight, I would have lived. Yeah, I, you, I, you will see that if you if you ma- if you mouse over your character, but like just at a, at a base, if you look at it, it just shows like a flat number. But if you do if put, put your mouse over it, there's a big tooltip that it like shows you everything in depth. Yes, so this is important to note. Um, one armor, supposing you're, we'll get into this armor discussion. I was about to get into it and why armor is important or why maybe it isn't important. You can draw the conclusion there. Uh, also every point in agility increases a hero's attack speed by one. These are the, no matter what with agility, no matter what you are. So your attack speed is going to go up by 10 with a blade of alacrity. So and you've got to figure the aura for uh, the new Helma Dominator is ten attack speed. 
So just picking up a blade of alacrity is like having the aura for HOD. So sure. that's pretty cool. I like visualizing things that way. Like, okay, I that was really noticeable when I was in that guy's HOD aura. Let's yeah. make sure that I pick up a blade of alacrity first for my Aghanim Scepter. Or, you know, two blades of alacrity first and have them shipped out before finishing the diffusal blade or, or what have you. Now, intelligence is the one that's a little bit... Well, they're all interesting, but I find intelligence pretty interesting ever since they made uh, the changes to it. Uh, every point in intelligence increases a hero's maximum mana by 12. So strength and int are not equal... Um, as I thought they were. So you're getting 120 mana with a uh, uh, Staff of Wizardry, opposed to the Point Booster giving you 175 on both uh, health and mana. So you got to keep that yeah. in mind. Once again, to Proud's point, every point in Intelligence increases a hero's mana regeneration by 0.04 mana per second. So basically it's just keeping up with your mana pool. Um, the interesting thing about intelligence that was recently added, I want to say six point eight four eight, seven, maybe uh, seven. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was, it was one of those. It, yeah, no, it was, it was eight seven. I think it was it, yeah, it was eight seven. Is that every point in intelligence increases a hero's spell damage by point oh six two five percent? The easier thing is the, uh, every eight. every 16 points of it gives you 1% more spell damage, which isn't magic damage, mind you. It's like spell, spell damage. Spell damage. And we will spell get into damage. spell resistance and how all this plays in. Well, there's no spell resist. There's magic resist. Magic resist. Exactly. Magic and magic and not all spells are magic. And that and that is an important distinction to make. And I just and I wrote spell resistance and it is magic resistance. You're absolutely right. Um, so this is important. And before we move on to armor, I also want to get into another thing that we touched on briefly before, but Hell this, yeah, dude. this is damage types. Um, these are the physical damage types. And this is something that I had no idea until proud enlightened me a couple, like maybe like four or five months ago. Um, but they've, they've made it a little simpler but there are four physical damage types, which are hero, basic, pierce, and siege. Hero damage does 100% damage to heroes, 100% damage to basic, basic being neutral creeps or lane creeps. And or then anyone with a Starbucks. Or anyone with a Starbucks. And... Because <laughs> <laughs> they're basic bitches? Is that what you're getting at? Starbucks, yeah. Okay. Starbucks and yeah, you know, like okay. a pair of basketball shorts or some Uggs. I, you know, basic. I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing easy, Uggs easy, easy right now. I'm seriously oh, wearing my Uggs. I didn't mean to insult you. No, I, I don't take... They were my anniversary gift, and I absolutely love them, but they're like... Uh, no I, wonder you were falling out of love with your wife. <laughs> no, I was excited <laughs> to get them. They're slippers know, with, teasing, like, the dude. wool inside and, like... The... Oh, you got the Ugg slip slips? Yeah, they're slippers, dog. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I oh, man, those. I wear them everywhere. I, I, I go to fucking... I go to... If I had a job, I'd go to my job in these... Yeah, dude. Um, team rolling in the pit, bashing everybody in the Ugg slips. <laughs> the Ugg slips. The other thing to note, and this is Proud got onto this, but Proud didn't have this pulled up in front of him. And I think you even you even said this correctly, but I'd have to go back and listen. Heroes do fifty sure percent of their damage to structures. So if you notice when you're like, you look down at that bottom right, and you're like, I do a hundred damage, and then you're hitting a tower, and you're like, the fuck, I'm doing thirty damage yeah. to the tower. Yeah, well, you can even see it. Like you, if you, you do 200 damage, you right-click a, a tower, and it's like 20? And, and, and we do 20? And there are, there are two factors going into that. because, And I guess it's kind of like composite damage, although that was gone, that's been done away with. But armor, there, there's armor on towers, and then they're taking also 50% less damage than what you're doing. We're moving on there because we'll get into the armor discussion. You. Basic. Basic would be creeps or melee lane creeps or basically any neutral creep. Also spirit bear, lichen wolves, skeleton warriors, spiders, uh, and trees and eidolons are basic. So pretty much anything that you make and neutral creeps are basic. So like if you're a lichen, if you're an enigma, if you're a nature's prophet, if you're a lone druid, 
This is basic damage, um, which does 75% of its damage to heroes, 100% of its damage to other basic things, uh, like I just mentioned, and then 70% to structures. So if you notice a lone druid ripping through backdoor protection like uh, Proud always boasts, he's doing that with his spirit bear on lone druid that does 20% more damage than his hero's doing. So big advantage there. Then there is piercing damage. This is most notably ranged lane creeps, Necronomicon archer, and Necronomicon warrior. Um, uh, what? Yes, the warrior and the archer are both piercing, as yeah. well plague as plague wards and serpent wards. Plague wards, that's serpent wards, undying zombies are also pierce. So uh, but that's not a big deal, though. That isn't a big deal. But they do, so they do fifty percent damage to heroes. They do one hundred fifty percent damage to creeps so if you notice like you you send necros down a lane and they are just ripping through creep waves well that's because you click on them and then add half of their damage to what their current damage is and that's how much damage they're actually doing but then when you throw necro units on towers you're like what the this is underwhelming that's because range creeps and necro units and and plague wards which that's why plague wards are so slow at pushing a tower uh especially serpent wards there's just numbers right there's just a lot of them but they do 35 percent damage to structures so you are not doing a ton of damage with pierce damage to structures um, right the next would be towers fountains and siege creeps so you walk into the fountain you walk into a tower you walk into a siege creep that is doing 85 percent hero damage so a tower is or actually da damage to heroes damage to heroes yeah so a, a tower is only doing 85% damage to you of what it actually does to a creep, which yeah, was interesting. It's holding back. It's Don't holding back. Yeah. It'll unleash its true power and do <laughs> hero damage, and you'll just fucking die. Exactly. Uh, but then they do normal damage, 100% damage to uh, creeps, new, uh, basics, we'll call them. Yep. But, but then why it fucking tears through my bear. It's Yep, it's why it tears through your bear. And then Siege Creeps uh, do 150% damage to structures. So, well, towers also deal a bunch of damage to towers. So if you can but that, ever get you a tower can somehow next to move another it, tower, yeah, it's gonna and they'll rip fuck it down. each other up. Just a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> Wild shit going on. <laughs> Two towers collapsing against each other. Oh, uh, remember the fountain trick? How you could move your fountain? Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, you, you could have. Uh, we never done that. Uh, there was a. It was way back when it was fixed quickly. Yeah, no, it was with like uh, Chronosphere and shit. <laughs> yeah, I had. Some I know my history. It. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess you could just like grab your fountain and have it move around and kill towers. Yeah, but... and then you could test out how much damage it does <laughs> to tier one towers. Uh, so they're doing 150. percent So, this is this has been the big thing with me on Lich is, um. I've, I've, I see a catapult and I'm like, oh God, like I start salivating. I'm like, I'm going to sacrifice the shit out of that. But going back to a previous episode, catapults give less experience than range creeps. No, they give more. It's no. Like, a, like five more. No, they give less. It's 88 to 90. Is it 88? Yeah, it's 88. Let me make sure on that. Range, creep, X, XP, Dota 2. Um, Siege creep. It's weird, dude. It makes no sense, and it kind of bothers me, to be honest. Yeah, 88. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, 88 compared to 90 uh, for a range creep. So, if you are a lich and you want to sacrifice something, just think about if you want to do damage to their tower, think about where you are in that stage of the game type thing. Because, like, I understand you want to sacrifice the siege creep because it's worth roughly two times that of a creep um but you actually will get more experience and you will range creeps don't do shit by the way to towers like i mentioned they do 35 percent to towers whereas siege creeps do 150 percent to towers so think twice about your sacrifices and what you want to sacrifice and when you want to do that i guess is what i'm getting at here because when when I first started playing Lich, it's like, oh, it's a no-brainer. You sacrifice the the catapult. The big um, thing. But I don't know. No, don't do that. Yeah, I would say probably after all this, probably just don't sacrifice the catapult. 
and try and deny it instead, I guess, uh, because the I range creep. I just sack it. I mean, like if you're, if like if someone's about to get a last hit on it, you want to deny them the gold. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, don't deny the catapult. Do, like, don't sacrifice the catapult. I mean, that's like one interaction on one hero. It, um, but it's an important one because when you're lich, like yeah. But you, I mean, we've we, we we got it. Just don't mm. don't sacrifice the catapult. Sacrifice range creeps every time. Duly noted, and I and I will because I still see catapults today, and I know that they give less experience than range, and I still go after. I it. also see catapults. They still spawn in my games as well. Do they? At like the three minute, and then the seven minute, and then and then they're on. What is no, mine come at five and then thirty seven, and that's it. But I still see them. It's something to do with 5k, I'm sure. I modded the game. <laughs> okay, let's let's tackle what boggled... Granted, boggled your mind for a second for the first it time that I've ever my seen. my confidence. It shook, it shook Proud's confidence, which is armor. This is a confusing-ass topic, and I didn't need to throw in the expletive ass in there because it just made me sound like an ass, but it is confusing... What? I said it's confusing. It's 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 a confusing ass topic. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't You're really need that, that adjective. I, I'm allowed to say it. I just didn't really need it. You know what I mean? Well, you don't need anything really. We could all just die, and the world would keep spinning. But you know what? We say ass because we are humans. <laughs> all right. Let's let. What, so, what do you think about armor? Let's hear about this. It's useful. Okay, it's useful. What if you're like? Okay, so let me paint you a picture. Physical Damahe coming on your butt, and you say, how I live this, and then you get armor. <laughs> okay, I'm, I follow, I follow. You have a nightmare, and you say, one dagger, and I'm die, but what is the answer? Or more. Oh my god, dude. I mean, I feel like you were, you're leading me, and then you just, like, dropped me off. Like, we go, we it's because armor. I'm pulling up these graphs and all this weird... I'm, tr uh, okay. I'm trying to, like... You need to fill time. You can just tell me. We have an open <laughs> communication thing going hey, on. Hey, proud. I just didn't know. Hey, dude, fill some time on this podcast real quick, dude. I've <laughs> got to pull up some stuff. That's it's called innuendo job. checks is what it's called, okay? It's called what? innuendo, where you pick up what I'm putting down, all right? Okay, armor. Super fucking confusing. Uh, yeah. Can, uh, proud, you did some, like, calculations, and you were like, oh, yes. Mm, uh, I'm a major calculator. Mm, ooh, yes. Mm, it's making more mm -hmm. sense. It's like, okay, and then the damage multiplier yep. plus the total HP divided by equals effective. Please. Well, you got to think about the quantum flux multipliers. The too. quantum flux multipliers. Can we... Just get into a basic of how I have zero. Okay, so here's what armor. Would you just shut up? I'm trying to. But I want to talk. No, go well, ahead. Well, it's no. my turn now. Okay, so here's here's this stat. It's called armor Dota two, and here's what it do for all of you. Uh, so every point of armor that you, I'm just so I'm, I'm glad you every finished point the of rhyme. Armor that you get increases your effective health, which is code for how much. How much raw damage you can take, like before reductions, uh, it increases your effective health by six percent. So let's say you have a hero with a thousand health. I'm sure we've all encountered a thousand health heroes before in our lifetimes. Uh, so every time you add another point of armor to that hero, they will be able to take sixty more damage. So if you have a doom with zero armor and a thousand health, and you add a chainmail on him, you uh, he will be able to take. 300 more physical damage before dying you will need to do a thousand three hundred damage through right clicks through physical damage uh or just a bunch of slardar w's who knows you'll need to do a thousand three hundred physical damage to kill him if you were to kill him with just physical damage i didn't know and that, that slardar w that never changes i didn't i didn't know that oh, okay so you think you just amp damage and it just magically did more damage no it physically did more damage <laughs> i don't know it's kind of it's kind of magical that he's even slithering around yeah, with no water finish that one <laughs> you know what i mean it's but... kind of magical that uh... <laughs> mm, i don't feel no. like i said it i feel like i was pretty quick on that one but okay. okay all right so so you go from zero to one you add 60 to your effective pool which is basically you six go percent from, you go it... from 100 to 101 you add i mean once you get that high there's some stuff that goes on but if you add if you go from 20 to 21, you're still adding 60 health to your effective HP pool. So how does it diminish? I thought it's diminishing. It doesn't. What the fuck? 
here's what here's what diminishes okay so if you look the only thing that diminishes is like the um like what it says on the tin if that makes sense oh That's okay oh yeah okay okay so like so let's say okay so let's say i have uh I'm, so okay, effective so I'm is always going right to be now. the I same zero armor shut up <laughs> 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 Yeah, affect yourselves. Okay, so I'm talking right now, you wily motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so I have zero. I have five percent physical resist right now because I. It says I have one armor. Okay, so this is rounding up. All right, let me let me drop these branches. Let me get these branches out of here. All right, so I have three percent physical resist with like 0.7 armor or something like that. All right, now I add a chainmail. You know what that brings me to? It brings me to 25 percent physical resist. I have um. I have 5.7 armor, and it's telling me that's 25% physical resist. So basically, getting uh, getting this chainmail took me from 4% physical resist because I just leveled up because I'm next to creeps. All right, so I have 4% physical resist, pick up a chainmail, and then I go up to 25%. So I gained 19% physical resistance picking up that chainmail. If we add another one, I go from like 25 to um, to 39. So I gained 14 instead of 19. But that's not like that's not honest. It's not like uh, so. When, when I went from three uh, percent to twenty five percent, I was I ended up taking about twenty one percent less damage. Because if I'm only taking uh, like ninety seven percent of the, of of the damage that I'm taking, uh, and then I take twenty two percent like less than that, it's not that I'm just taking twenty two percent less damage or, or whatever. I'm taking. Um, I'm taking 22% of the 97 uh, less damage, if that makes sense. It does. So like I, I, I kind of want to decode it because I, it's like it just, I just had an epiphany. So I did. Yeah. So basically, when you say it's on the tin, uh, you went from 25% and then you added 20 more armor and it says 59%. Basically, it is changing your effective HP, but your armor label is diminishing but your effective hp does not diminish is what you're the getting rate, at. the rate at which the percentage increases um the percentage physical resist like up front is going to stop increasing as fast like that number is not going to keep going up the amount of damage that you are resisting is so like the easiest example is you take let's say i have let's say i have 98 percent uh, damage. Let's say let's say each point of armor makes me take like one percent less damage, um, and somehow I got myself up to ninety eight percent ninety eight percent physical damage resistance. If I go from ninety eight to ninety nine, I'm only increasing my percentage, you know, like in a text form by one. But if I'm only taking two per like if I have ninety eight percent resistance, that means I'm only taking two percent of the damage that's being done to me, like to my health. If I went from ninety eight to ninety nine. I would have the amount of damage I was taking before I gained that extra percentage. Does that make sense? So I basically, yes. if you go from 98% to 99, the number, if you're just not really, you don't really know what you're looking at, the number goes, you're like, oh, it only increased by 1%. But functionally, where you're when you're going from 98 to 99%, you're dropping the damage you took before you, uh, you took at 98 by 50% damage down to 99. Also, oh. if you, yeah, does that make sense? It, it makes sense perfect sense and if it didn't make sense just keep rewinding until it does because this was something that proud and i talked about for like 20 minutes before starting the show it's like armor holy shit it's confusing can we go on the negative side of things is it is it the same on the negative side of things i i've i've always been under the impression that impression that negative armor is more impactful than positive armor i'm it, making a face right now you can't see it but i'm making a frown is face. this indeed true no, it wouldn't be true. No, huh? I mean it kind of is. I need to. This is this is the thing that shits me to tears. Uh, Cause okay, if you look at um, if you go to like the Dota Two wiki, which um, basically is where I live for for the last hour, um, and you look at armor, there's like these shitty graphs that I hate. And like okay, so there's the there's the graph for um, like what armor is going to do to your damage resistance, and it's like. Um, uh, as you as you start as you go from like zero armor up, it's just like this straight line and the amount of damage you take. And then when you um when you start doing like minus armor shit, it like it's a weird curve because it uses a kind of weird formula that only gets bizarre once you go into the negatives. But for the most part, like once you go to negative, it's like negative one armor 
it's a little bit faster actually not not really uh armor armor like negative armor it's uh, every point of minus armor that you get is going to do a bit less than um than like six percent less effective hp G going into the negatives is actually not that efficient um it's much it's better to just like reduce people's armor from whatever they have to zero and it's pretty equivalent uh, equivalently useful all the way around there's a lot of stuff about um like how it's way better to reduce people's armor to zero um but i can't i can't really find a great reason why going taking someone from like uh 10 armor to zero would be more impactful for the amount of damage that you do from getting um 20 armor to 10. and i know that goes against almost everything ever in dota 2 and what a lot of people have said is like very basic conventional wisdom but there's a very high chance this is just like some old wives tales shit where like I don't think no... that's what it is. So I want to put I it. Think, I, I want to put is. it this way because this will make a lot of sense to you. So, uh, yeah. a hero has nine armor, okay, and a thousand health. A, a th he started with a thousand health, and he has nine armor, which is nine times six, which is fifty-four. So he has. He now has fifteen hundred and forty effective health points. Okay, you sure. you come at him as lone druid with a desolator on Scylla and a uh, blight stone on the bear yep. and you hit him he now has a thousand health again because he went from nine armor to zero so he now has yeah. a thousand effective hp yeah it does the exact same thing as going from a thousand or going from whatever to having nine armor yes exact same interaction but if you have seven if he has seven armor that negative two means a lot more actually that negative two would be an extra seven percent on top of that dude it no. boggles it, it looks like some so i think here's here's what we're getting at it's a lot easier to get positive armor than it is to give somebody negative armor what we have weave we have desolator we have uh blightstone we have uh ta's bullshit we have amp damage from Slardar. Like, there are only a few ways to, and situational ways, ways to decrease somebody's armor. So I think they reward. No, no, that's no, like minus two. Okay, go, going to minus two armor, like, it's still, I'm losing 6% effective HP. I don't, I would love for somebody to, because this graph shows no, that. No, like, I'm, like, go, going to, once you, okay, so <laughs> negative two, okay, there is a kind of weird formula to it. Once you go to negative two, it's still pretty linear. I think going to negative one is slightly better than, um, like, the, the amount of damage you increase from going zero to negative one is slightly bigger than anything else, than any other change from, like, you know, one armor value to the other, because um, it has this little dip here. But then it just, like, it, it's... I mean, it's, it's like a negative square root value going on here. So uh, yeah, kind so, of, not, not exactly, but there's a bit of a dip here. Something weird, because the graph drops off on negative much faster than it climbs on positive. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't, f I don't know, dude. It boggles. I guess the damage multiplier is absolutely actually the exact same. Uh, I, I'm pretty, it, it I, is, I think it might just be the way the formula works as you go below negative two it starts to like drop off really really crazy and think about it how are you going to get a hero that much below negative two Slardar Slardar plus, plus Dazzle Slar ulti a CM and it's going to go to negative ten yeah I mean but, but it, it doesn't it, it's not doesn't actually matter that much like the, the point is if you're at like negative 40 armor um somehow through some fucking act of god getting more armor isn't really going to help you too much you just need a shit ton of hp i mean like if your if your problem is physical damage armor is going to be absurdly efficient because armor is just like a really really good efficient stat for dealing with the, that particular type of damage um like yeah like if you have if you have a, a few once you get to like high health pools armor is like fucking ridiculously good yeah, and for obviously re obvious reasons it scales right if you have a thousand damage each point of armor is uh like 60 hp and like most heroes have like what like two thousand damage once they get to like level twenty or so to the point where you like have a lot of options over what items you're getting. Yeah, it's good for sure. It I'm still super confused. I would love it's it's just something that I don't know. I th I think you're right that it is the exact same because looking at the graph, I think negative armor would taper off in the same way that positive armor tapers off on the label it, it, on it, the it label. Doesn't. 
on the well, label. Neg negative armor has a it, it like the formula for calculating the damage that you take through armor has like some weird shit baked into it. So it's not just that flat like um, sixty or sixty effective HP if you have a thousand health for every armor that you gain. It's not. It's not this. It's not just the six percent. Uh, once you go to negative two, um, like it's still it's still being weird when you go into negative values, but it becomes in it's like it becomes radically different once once the values get big enough once in negative armor. But from like zero to negative two, it's it's all the same shit for the most part. Um, but for positive, it's just plus six percent effective HP for each armor you add. It's true. And I mean, if you look if you look at AC, like AC gives fifteen armor. If you have a two thousand health hero, that's like a thousand eight hundred physical damage that you can like withstand now. That's a shit ton. Wow, that is a shit ton. EHP is something that I feel like is wildly under talked about. Uh, I don't. I disagree. I feel like people talk about EHP way too much. I never hear about EHP. I well, never ever do. I I feel yeah. like no. I mean, I don't watch. I know that you're like the new pro Dota guy. You you're just like this. That that meeting was hilarious. Where it's like we need to do pro Dota, and you're like, hey guys, me. I watch pro Dota, and we're like, god damn it, if only somebody within these ranks. Watch Pro Dota. And I, I watch. I've watched every game in the past. Yeah, I guess we're gonna. We just can't do it. We don't have anybody that we know that watches Pro Dota. And, and finally, it's like, what were you saying over there, Proud? What were you mumbling? It's like I know everything about PyCat. I love PyCat. <laughs> I actually don't love PyCat. <laughs> anyway, it worked. Well, I was out really also well. like, you know, I don't know if I could do this, but then, I, then I was thinking about. It. I was like, hmm, you mentioned one thing, and I have like five paragraphs to say about it. Maybe this will work. I liked the show. The only the only issue is is Denny needed to take a little bit of time on editing that episode a little bit better. But other than that, uh, yeah, what did he fuck up? Yeah, just if if the editing what, was what, crisp, what did he what did he fuck up? He just he was way loud and you were way quiet. But that makes uh, sense because well, he's way loud in real life. But you're way loud in real life too. Yeah, so it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's not true to the personalities. Okay, here's one thing: pure damage doesn't affect. Or it doesn't happen when you have BKB. You cannot Wait, be. Let's 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 surmise armor real quick. Okay. I feel like we said okay. a lot of shit. All right, and we'll we'll make it we'll make it super basic. Every point of armor you get will add. Six, so if you take uh, how much health you have, every point of armor will give you six percent of that uh, in in like uh, dam damage resistance. So if you took uh, if just a fucking um, if a, just a troll whirler was hitting your shit you will be able to take 6% of your health more uh, of, of like raw damage um, for every point of armor that you get. And uh, yeah, that's, that, that's armor. Going into negative values, as you get past negative two armor, um, it, you're not really taking 6% more. It, it tapers off until eventually it, it caps out um, at like, what is it, like 50% or something like that? Anyway. Don't uh, ask me, man. Yeah. As, as, anyway. Yeah. yeah so the the more damage that you or the, the more minus armor that you have, um, the less impactful it's going to be. Um, but in general, you don't want to be at you know a lot of minus armor anyways, because physical damage will just straight up wreck you at that point. Uh, damage resistance is is really good in Dota, probably a little bit undervalued, um, but that that's kind of on like a per hero basis. But if you're taking a lot of physical damage um, and your your health is kind of starting to get up there, getting some armor is going to go a long ass way. Like an AC. Um, will give you more effective health against physical damage than a heart will if you have even just 2,000 health. Whoa. That's yeah, an AC that's is right. like 1,800 against physical, and a heart is like, what, 1,300? It's like 500 well, more health. You, you've that's got a shit ton. So you no, have... a heart is 1,150. A, a fucking Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, what, you have a, the 25 a, a strength and then 700. More. So 25 strength is 500 plus 700. Dude, do you even know what AC... What, heart does i know well it's, i i know a heart does it's 40 yeah it's 45 strength in, in like two, 250 health or oh okay oh i was just thinking reaver gives 25 strength and then i no, thought yeah, i gave no, 700 so the, yeah heart is heart is huge yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh it is you know 45 strength that's why it's so good on spend 45 fucking strength you shitting me yeah or or on uh pudge okay. or anything like that i love oh, it line, line put, line put. because you can have rot on Oh, that's oh no, not rot, but um, uh, your uh, what is that? Your dismember is based dismember off is based right? off strength, yeah, and that's and I love leaving a hive. and I love having rot on, just walking around yeah. and just does does rot not disable heart regen? No, oh fuck no, dude! I've I def oh. I've I've had two games recently where I've defended against megas as Pudge, where I just leave rot on and I'm like, come here, creeps. I guess and, it has to be enemy hero damage that disables if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. two fifty health for for uh, forty five strength. Yep. That's so that's crazy to think that 
if you are suffering from being right clicked down, heart IPA. is not the answer. Uh, AC is the answer. I mean, unless you have a ton of armor, like if you've already got like 80 armor, um, then uh, then heart might be because it's um, heart versus AC <coughs> is like okay. So if you get HP, um, that's going to be modified by the armor you have. So if you have zero armor, heart is only going to increase your effective health by um, by a thousand one hundred and fifty, right? But if you have like if you have thirty armor on you already, um, and like the heart is going to give you what's I need to fucking yeah. The, so basically, yeah, you... times thirty <laughs> equals one point eight times one one five zero heart will give you 2070 health okay so you have a lot of armor get heart you have a lot of health get armor um, well, honestly you get scotty scotty oh, like okay scott against physicals uh scotty but i mean like there's a there's so much more that goes into these item choices than just like what kind of damage am i taking it's yeah. like, do i need the fucking and do you want a lower heart? armor and AC is going to, you know, mess yeah, with their armor your, values. Yeah, attack speed, it gives you attack speed, it gives your team attack speed and shit. Yeah. There's way more to itemization than just, like, these kind of rote things. But if you're just like, I don't know anything about Dota and I just don't want to fucking die. If you have a <laughs> bunch of health, get AC. If you don't have any health but you have armor, get heart. If you don't have shit uh, and you're dealing dying to physical damage and it's not spells that are fucking you up at all, it's just, like, raw physical damage and you're already full on health and shit, like, get Scotty maybe. <laughs> Yeah, because the Agi will give you armor, and you'll yeah, get health from the strength. A, a bunch of armor. It has, yeah. yeah, it has a lot of a lot of health built into it. A lot of Agi. Uh, yeah, like yeah. Okay. Scotty is one of is is better than hard against physical damage, but it doesn't like give you this insane regen that you can get anytime you leave you out like, of a fight. So it's I just I just, I just whoop, 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 and then heal up. Whoop, 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 yeah, dude, back I in heart on on Phantom Lancer. Like I just press W and then I just like walk away for three seconds and I'm like I didn't know I was Slark and then I just go back and kill it. Run. It's but better than just, Slark, like, man. Slowly. Even yeah, Slark level eighteen. Shit. You're just like oh god, Dark Pact. Come on, man. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. I think so that's that what, what it's called. Like? Yeah, I, I dude, Dark Pact at six. Is it's called Dark Pact, right? I think it's called Dark Pact. Uh, Shadow Dance is his ulti. Okay, Shadow Dance, where it's like Dark Pact is the Q. It just feels like forever, and then you get the you get the level twelve, and then it then it's starting to feel good. I love Slark when yeah. I when I snowball. Okay, so I'm that's nice. a pretty that's a pretty good summary of armor. I I want to go. I want to. So magic resistance is. Not to be confused by spell resistance, like I, I like I said earlier. Yeah. Um, I don't know. When, you think, when I think of magic, I think of spells. I don't know. I don't, You're I don't casting know. a spell, it's magic. You know what I mean? But, of course, there are a ton well, of physical just, like, spells. Very allure- you're like, uh, hey, Proud cast a spell on me when I saw him wearing his wizard hat and cape combination. And I'd be like, oh, obviously. And like, I'd be is like, magic? And I'll be like, fuck no. It, yeah, it was, a, it was a physical change, for sure. It was a physical yeah. change. You're right. What a, that, that's a great analogy. Best analogy, 2017, hands down. Yeah, great analogy. Thank so, you. magic is. I resist- my wizard hat to you, sir. <laughs> do you, grab, no the, do you grab the point? Or how do you tip it? Or do you grab the brim? Do you grab the point of the hat or the brim to tip it? I just I just take my hand and I just fucking like grab the whole thing real hard and I just like <laughs> ruffle it around like because I'm like this weird like little warlock boy. Oh. Like, like oh he's insane and I'm like I like you. We just had music play over your track again. Sorry guys, it's been it's what? been it's okay. It only played for a second. It was good music. Okay. Uh, you just had a drum roll when you were when it was like, and I just ruffled it around. It was actually like <laughs> super serendipitous, and then drums just kicked in, and it was right. like, and then I muted it. But uh, that, was a, that was a magic spell, not a th- that spell. was a magic spell, and I blocked it with BKB. Um, which, speaking of, I, I don't even really oh want God. to get into magic resistance. Magic resistance is going to block no. magic damage. Yeah, literally just magic damage. It doesn't have anything. Okay, so this is there's. This kind of thing in Dota where people try to, like, equate things and develop heuristics for themselves to make things as easy as possible. Like, oh, spells do magic damage, right clicks do physical damage, and pure damage goes through BKB. Like, no, I'm sorry that you just tried to make sense of this world, but that was a <laughs> futile fucking attempt. <laughs> okay, so so elaborate. The one... Okay, so, so oh. magic, magic resist 
um, like what Hood gives you or the 25 base magic resist that all heroes have, um, which you can actually like see now, um, reduces magic damage. That's not specifically stuff from spells like Slardar's, uh, Slardar's stun with W, the damage that happens after he bashes you. Um, storm hammer. Uh, concoction, concoction. Alchem- yeah, it, it's essentially a storm hammer. Yes, yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like those, those, those do physical damage. Um, and then there are some, th- some things that like are delivered by right clicks, like faceless voids bash, um, the bash, the bash on a, um, on a basher or an abyssal blade the uh the proc on a monkey king bar um or the proc on a maelstrom like those are physical damage a pipe will reduce the damage that a sniper does to you when with his uh, maelstrom bounces um but uh a pipe will not reduce the damage that an alchemist does when he's throwing unstable concoctions at you so you have to kind of a little bit divorce the idea that like I'm being killed by uh, by right click. The magic resist does nothing for me. I'm being killed by spells. All I need is um, all I need is like a, a pipe or a BKB or something. Because that's not always the case. Um, there, it's mostly exceptions. Like for the most part, you know, like if you see a beam of light coming at you, it's probably not made of fucking like iron and dirt. It's probably made out of fucking magic. But it's worth noting, like, not everything is just one fucking thing. Yeah, I it's it's and the phys- they I feel like they've done a good job. Like I think of Tiny, for instance, Avalanche. That I hope is a physical spell. Are you shitting me? No, it's magic, dude. Like that is rocks and boulders coming at you. That is physical. And toss is you go up on the, and then you hit the ground. Is that magical? Yeah. Well, fire is burning. Fire isn't magic. It's just heat. Is that physical? No, it's magic. I'm so, so avalanche is magic damage. Yeah, avatars to, to, totally magic combo. Okay, well that's dumb as fuck. Earth spirit kicking you is magic damage. He's just kicking. That's you. a physical thing. With rocks and being thrown and gravity hurting you, that's physical. That's not Hudge's magical. Hook is is pure damage. Is his fucking hook the goddamn like sword Excalibur delivered to okay. fucking King Arthur? No, it's a fucking hook. Question to you then, sir, about BKB. Yeah. Hook, yep. hook works when somebody is BKB'd. Do they take damage? Uh, no, I don't think so. Holy shit! Really? I don't think so. It, well, I know they don't. And I can, so. check, I can check. I know they don't sell because it says pure damage. BKB stops all pure damage. So basically, you will displace them. You will pull them if you land the hook and they're BKB. It doesn't, doesn't stop all pure damage. It stops pure damage unless otherwise indicated. Is Dota? Oh my gosh! The, the trick for Dota is everything is unless otherwise indicated. <laughs> Dota, and Dota will yeah. indicate you. You just have to ask real nice. The thing is, they don't even make this information that public. Like, if I want to play a board game, I pull out the rule book and I read it. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay. Yeah, if you're a fucking, if you're just like a fucking plebe, if you're a badass, <laughs> what, you, you just, have to pull oh, out you the just go into Settlers of Catan. The... You just go no, into no, Settlers no, no, of Catan no, no, and you just no. fucking play it. No, I'm saying like, if you're playing a real ass board game, you got to go online and look up the errata. For oh, the game. okay, yeah, no, I definitely <laughs> go into strategies on Settlers of Catan. Like, okay, where? No, no, not not much, not strategies. The errata is like the actual like in depth rules. Like, you know, you're like uh like a Magic the Gathering, like the rules that you need oh. to ask a fucking judge at MTG. Oh, like that's okay. the scale of like errata. You're like, well, how do these two things interact? Because this thing says this, but this one is phrased with one word in a different place. Is this different? That's the fucking web errata. Oh, it's like gotcha. E R A T A. Oh, gotcha. I live with some fucking nerds, man. Good. I... Lived. Not anymore. I just live with myself now, and I cry. Well. It sounds better than living with nerds, because who fucking likes nerds? Not me. I beat them up when I see them. Dude, I am such a jock. <laughs> I'm sure every jock in the world says says it just <laughs> like that. I am such a jock. Okay, no, I'm so... A jock, bro. Uh, spell damage... Uh, obviously, in- we already kind of got into that with intelligence. Uh, spell damage, you know... Every one int is going to increase that by 0.0625. And that yes, is not spelled. That's not. Spell spell, that's not is that spell damage? That is spell damage. 
spell damage. It's called spell damage, but not it's not magic damage. So spell damage is essentially damage that you do that is not based on your auto attacks. Is the easiest thing I can. Is the wow. Way so storm so hammer like, is affected and not, by this. Of course. So if I had, if I cheated and Why gave would it myself, not be? it's seven, magic damage. So if I get, and also it's a spell. Storm hammer is fucking magic damage. Sven's yeah dude okay it's, i'm throwing a hammer at somebody how is that not physical it's a storm hammer i'm throwing a goddamn hammer at somebody actually that is, you're not you're throwing your gauntlet your gauntlet is leashed like fucking like launching at someone like you're a goddamn giant robot from like a 70s super i want a goddamn committee anime. and i want to go over every spell in dota and i want to say physical or magical Here's a here's a tip. They're all they're all magic except when otherwise indicated. Another one of those shoots that you fall through in in Dota 2 where it's usually this way unless it's not. Yeah. And that's why we love this game because like my wife said, there is no rule book. <laughs> it's kind of like free for all. See, Dota is great because it's completely unfettered by like any need or any uh like any assumption or any expectation for the game to function a different way like if the game would be would be better okay so like dota is perfect if you like kind of know everything that's going on if that does does that make sense like it's sure. not like it doesn't care about this burden of knowledge shit it's like okay you know what if slarder's uh w did ma- did physical damage like he would be a cooler more interesting hero and someone would look at that and say, like, what the fuck? It's a spell. Make it do magic damage just so it's easier to understand. Ice Fox's like, fuck that. He has minus armor. He can have a physical spell. And they're just like, fuck it. Here you go. And Alchemist is like, yo, I got some minus armor too. Can I have a physical spell? It's like, fuck yeah, dude. Take it. Okay, let's and pretend like, we're the committee. Okay. All right. Okay, Slardo, you're next up. Okay. Uh, your Q. Yeah, well, we can go ahead and say that's magical. We're going to give you phase movement. It's sprint. What y- your, your W. Does it do damage? Your W here. Uh, let's look at this. So you are a fish, uh, and you are, uh, yeah, basically you're on land. Yes? He's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fish, and I'm on land. Yes. Uh, and uh, you want this to be approved as a physical damage spell because of your ultimate. Uh, yes, I, yes, I would, I would like that very much. Uh, fucking denied, fucking denied. That's magical. It's magical well, okay, that you're even a fish in, on ground. Then it, he would put in the appeal, and he would say, "Well, I have a minus armor theme, so wouldn't it make more sense <laughs> if my other skills were also like physical, like to to synergize with my kit?" And I'd be like. Upon review, we've approved this, and then you would like burst into the nope. room. You'd be like, then, I thought we talked about nope. this, and I would be like, nope, 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 it's done. The the appellates would turn it down, and then then Scotus would pick it up, and oh god, we don't even have we don't even <laughs> have a Supreme States Court. Versus Slardar. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. Oh shit, we don't even we don't even have a Scotus. That's right. Fuck. Okay. Um, be a split decision. <laughs> before it'd be four four. Oh basic no. Human rights. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, this show is Just for Slardar. <laughs> We're, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Thank you what? so much. Yeah, it's time. We didn't cover anything. We've covered an hour and 10 minutes worth of information and next the next 3 episodes are we're going to cover uh in no particular order off lane, mid lane, safe lane. Um, and how they've changed, how you can play them, what was once viable and now isn't, and what what once wasn't now is in those lands. Of course, the professional proud is going to uh, is going to enlighten us there. You know, there was a guy in a stream in the stream. I can't remember his name yesterday. That was like Roland. I can't wait until you get five point one k and beat the shit out of proud. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not the goal. It's Ursi. Like, have have I just not been clear enough about that? That I've wanted to be better than Ursi? Not better than you. Like, you're my peer. You know what I mean? Have I not been... Have I not been clear about that? Like this no, guy. I mean, I I know that. I mean, you got you got a long way to go, buddy. But hey, if someone wants you to beat the shit out of me, I don't. Um, don't jump you on. Can the... Just pay me a pay me a thousand bucks, and I'll let it happen. <laughs> I will let Roland beat the shit out of me for a thousand bucks. He meant in Dota. Don't jump. 
on the uh, defense, my well, friend. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Don't jump on the defense, but this guy wanted me to beat you at Dota. And I was like, I had to stop and be like, no, no, no. My goal is not to be better than proud. I don't care about that. My goal is to consistently be better than Ursinity. Yeah, that would really ruin a lot of things. If I was better than Ursinity? Yeah. Would it like ruin like Do you know how hard it team? is to keep this boy happy? <laughs> I know. I've, I've seen some. I've been watching the ham practices lately, and it's oh my god, oh my god. Whenever he dies he's mid, have, he's been having some troubles. I know he has, uh, but he's gonna bane his way to uh, 5k. So good for yeah, him. Yeah, my fucking mid is playing a fucking bane to climb. Well, it's not what I want. <laughs> oh well, it's not like I want to be on ham or anything, but I am open during all of your practice times, and uh, if you need a fifth, oh, we, don't, I'm, uh, we don't ever we don't practice anymore um I, yeah, we practice specifically uh, when you aren't available i made myself out. completely available all times when ham was practicing Did, not that i i couldn't even be on a team well, if be... i ever need a legion to build a midas i look you up <laughs> you're a dick dude i i do <laughs> want to beat you all right uh we're closing it you can uh, find us at defense of the patients.com you can go to defense of the patients at gmail.com to Send us questions in for our Tuesday Q&A. You, or just anything about Proud chewing with his mouth open or, or whatever. Uh, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash .ptv. I have been streaming a ton lately. Proud streams. Uh, they stream their ham practices where uh, I sit there and, and take notes vigorously and and just leave my, my, like, just keep refreshing my inbox hoping that they invite me to practice with them one day, but I'm not 5K yet, so. I just, it's like, it's an hour and 10 minutes and we got to cut out. What? Yeah. It's just, yeah. I miss the old Roland. Dude. The long shows Roland. I hate the new Roland. What are you? We came with Roland. <laughs> he always salty Roland. <laughs> he always salty Roland. I'm, oh, I've dude. been trying to go through this. I think that's his icon of stall. I was copying a Kanye rap. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Just had I don't really know how the rest of it goes, honestly. But well, I'm, I'm glad you don't have it in uh, memorized. See. No, that's okay. Uh, YouTube uh, forward slash Doppy TV one. You can see Theory Crafters games and their comms. They're always fun to watch. Patreon.com forward slash Defense of the Patients. This money allows us to keep these in-houses going, all, you know, the, the Steam gift cards, all that stuff. We also... Wait, that's my money? Don't tell them on the show. We say that it goes towards Steam gift cards and stuff. Oh. Yeah. So if you want to help the community and not just one person, uh, go ahead and donate to Defense of the Patients uh, Patreon. That helps us a ton. Also, iTunes Reviews. The freest thing to do to get us noticed and to help us out. We're getting a bunch more. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead. And write one yourself. No, I'm going to pull up our newest one. We just, had, we just got one. I wrote it, but I want to read it anyway. I didn't really write it. I'm not. I know. I know. Dude, we have 54 five stars and two four stars and one of those four stars is your bastard co-host and also my co-host ursi okay oh. good stuff five star review by note k-n-o-a-t great dota podcast for veterans and newcomers alike good entertainment and good knowledge proud is a little bit over the top sometimes and i really can't stand him other than that i learn something new every episode <laughs> highly recommend it <laughs> I, I yeah, added a, uh, I added the proud a... part. I totally oh, added that. What? I Are added that. Serious? Literally, I added that. Okay. Yeah. Good entertainment, good knowledge. I learned something new every episode. Highly recommend. He didn't dude, say I got anything about out you. For flaming pandas earlier today, it was rough. No, fuck pandas, dude. I agree. Evolution's gonna take care of them right away. When I heard you say that, I I felt like I nah, was like you know the guy you know I think the guy knew what he was talking about. I was googling it, and people were just like, nope. I mean, like they're kind of they're kind of shit, but like they work, like they operate. No, when I heard you go on your rant about pandas, I was like, yeah, another fucking panda hater. 
No, no, that's uh, that's like a common is apparently real common that this is like one dude who was like, yeah, pandas suck. And then everyone was just like, do you guys know that pandas sucked? And then it just became like a thing. And like, I learned that in like school. Um, but yeah. So now you're a panda you know, defender? Pandas, um, you know, I kind of like the, the world. And I feel like now of all times, we probably don't need more people <laughs> saying, you know what? Let's just fuck everything up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll oh. keep pandas around. I mean, like they eat bamboo and shit, but then that's like all they do. But there's like a, there's a lot of bamboo. I don't know. I mean, like. They die a lot because, like, if we reintroduce them to, you know, like, they don't have habitat. So that's why they're like, man, all the pandas are dying. How weird is that? It's like, I don't have a fucking home. Um, but I don't know. They're fine, I guess. I'm not wow. a big fan, but they can live. Um, okay. Well, yeah. Read your news. Also, guys, make sure that you're up to date on what's going on in the news. That's important. Make sure that you're reading real news. Um, I'm more of a fake news guy myself. I, you know, the fake news is fun, but uh, I, I prefer to read actual factual. Um, anyway, this it doesn't sound very American of you. It, it, it isn't. It matter of fact, it's it's made me estranged to my entire family because they're like, wait, you don't get your news off Facebook, and I was like, no, that's bullshit, right? And they're like, ha, you guys, he doesn't get his news off Facebook, and then I'm I'm not allowed over there anymore because yeah. They, they said that, you know, elephants on Mars are the only way we're going to, you know, be able to get there. I don't know where I was going with that last, last, that last bit. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try and close the show. But before I do, big shout out to Jay Goosh, the meme master himself, and our Reddit administrator. Go to our Defense of the Patients and you can leave comments. That's a great place to get involved. Anyway. Can I just say that? I I can post basically anything on on Twitter, and at least I know Gucci will like it. If nothing else, Gucci's a a good man. Okay, okay I'll tell you. I would die for him. You you want to know a story? I'll tell a story. You die for him. I got in an alter in almost an altercation for him. Oh, um, for I thought you said, I'm gonna say with him, and I was like, the fuck no. is wrong with you? So we're at TI, and we're sitting up in the nosebleeds, which actually, arguably, is the best spot at TI. Oh yeah. Great. Um, and there is a guy. So we're all sitting in like the middle of a row, and there's a guy at the very end of the row with his feet up, blocking access to this row. Uh, and I see Jay Gucci try and get by this guy, and this guy is not moving his legs. Okay, he won't let Jay Gucci by, this random guy, into our row to come hang out with all of us. And so Jay Gucci is about to go up one row so he can sit behind us instead of with us. Okay? Yeah. So I get the fuck out of my seat, and I go up to this guy, and I'm like, hey, your legs are up. And he's like, yeah, my, my buddies are coming. Uh, and I was like, how many buddies do you have? And he's like, I have a lot. And I was like, nope. And I, 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 I put my leg up and pushed his legs off. Nice. Like, I, I kicked his legs off the chair. Easy. And then was like, come on. Come on, Jay Gucci. Doesn't sound like an altercation. It was, because the guy was mad when I touched my, oh, okay. my leg well, yeah, to that, his that leg. Because yeah. I was like, he wasn't moving his leg. And I was like, no, my friend's coming by. These are not reserved. Sorry. You don't just get to block off a whole row. Fuck was it you. like it was like thirty fucking seats? It was or like something? yeah. It was like I needed binoculars to even tell that it was Jay Gucci that was being blocked off. Like this dude did not yeah. have forty five fucking friends to fill all these seats. This guy was just Probably being an didn't asshole. Didn't even have one. Yeah, and he was he was just being a prick to Goosh. And I and yeah, I went up and and he was like, "Thank you, Roland." And I was like, "Dude, yeah, bring it in." Anyway, I love Jay. What Gucci. you should have done is you should have just shot the guy's leg so he could never do that again for the rest of his goddamn life. Well, that's the baseball player uh, that was in the crutches that got the glove. That's actually what have, happened. Had to have their leg up. The taquitos, he gets the baseball glove. Yeah. He, yeah, he was just a casual Dota fan, but a baseball star. And I'm glad I'm actually the one. Yeah, full circle. Anyway, this is Roland for Proud saying, "Don't you think that you should keep listening to us?" That was probably the weakest one. Bye.